Hey everybody, today it is me joining you in the garden and uh, along with the I Have Anxiety 2 uh, challenge that I'm holding, which I've been so delighted with everybody's responses, today I'm going to dig up a plant that I've been growing all year that is an anxiety herb par excellence and that is valerian. Now many of you will know valerian from the roots. Um, you can find it in capsule form, tincture form, um, powdered form, and valerian is um, one of the best sedative herbs around that you can find. And unlike skullcap, which was the first herb that we started with, valerian is a plant that um, basically you either have a reaction that helps you chill out or you are like wired up by valerian. And it is not good to take for long periods of time. So valerian is one of those that can be used as a gentle sleep aid or for moments of extreme stress to really help your body ground in that moment and really just slow down. But it's not great to use like over really long periods of time. So keep that in mind when you're using valerian. So I'm gonna dig this up and I'm also gonna teach you guys today about dividing uh, the roots and replanting the little babies that grow along the edge. This did already go to seed this year. You can see this little stalk coming from the main basal part of the plant. Um, so I'm hoping that I'll have little baby valerians all over, but just in case, and just because, I wanna take some of the root and also put the root around the garden in varying places so I can have more plants for next year. Yesterday we featured the Tulsi plant, and here we are, Eni is helping me. There's the root, and he's just going to dig a wide berth. Now valerian is also known for having a very peculiar smell, something uh, like dirty socks. So let's see if, if it smells that way. We could have cut the uh, flower heads off so that it, more of the energy would have gone into the root, but I uh, wanted all those seeds. Lots and lots of rocks on this one. All right, Ian just made a wide berth around the plant, and it's just gently lifting it up. And he dug it out of the ground, and now we are looking at the nice, fibrous root. I'm pretty impressed with the size of the root. So now we are going to, uh, he's already dividing them, so you can see. This came apart really easily. Yep. So that's four or five plants, and we will plant that around the garden. You can see from these separate heads here that these are all actually, this mother plant has created different plants. So we will move those around. Gorgeous. And we'll have a lot of stuff to make medicine with. That's fantastic. So we already showed you these lovely babes that'll be very easy to divide. With this larger root mass, you can take a hori hori or just use your fingers. I like to use my hands so I can really feel the plant and just massage that root apart. You can see, if you come a little closer with the camera, that it's actually just really nicely coming apart. See, you don't have to break it or hurt it. Oh, look at that, that was perfect. Wow, that came apart really easily. Um, this one too. So these are all the different plants that we now have. I see another one on this that we can get. Oh, it smells wonderful. I actually really love the smell of valerian. I don't really think it smells like old shoe. It's got a kind of a floral scent, but it's kind of spicy almost. Oops, broke those. So this is definitely the mama. She's got the majority of the roots. Now we'll tincture it. And there you have it. Uh, cleaned the roots off, chopped them up, blended them, and added alcohol and water for the tincture. So, feels so empowering to make your own herbal medicine.